Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Burst Windows Wallet. Now what this is, is the Burst Wallet and it's also a plotter and a miner. I'm going to show you how to use it. So basically what you're going to do first is get Java. So if you don't have Java already, just go to search for download Java. Uh, the first link that comes up is going to be the right one. Click on that and you'll come to this page, click agree and start download and it will download this Java setup file. Once you've installed this, um, it will it'll run, it'll download the uh, Java installer and it'll walk you through it. Um, it's very simple, so just install that. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and run the Burst Wallet. Uh, download this and go ahead and double click on it. And it will bring you to the Burst Windows Wallet. Go ahead and click Next. You can read through this if you'd like. Um, it's just going to tell you the same thing I'm about to tell you in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and skip it. You can change the installation directory, but I don't recommend it. You can also change the name here, but it's not necessary. And you're going to want to create a desktop icon. Um, I've already run through this once on this machine, so you can see the desktop icon already there. But we're going to go ahead and click Next and install it again. Now, um, the installer contains the C++ redistributables version 2010 from Microsoft. Um, if you already have this installed and you have a newer version installed, it's going to come up with a little window that looks like an error. Um, that is not necessarily an error. It's just telling you that you have a newer version installed and you can go ahead and successfully close that and continue with the installation. Since I've run through this and I've only installed this current version, it's just going to tell me here that I can either repair or remove what I already have. Um, but of course, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this, and yes, and then I'm going to finish the installation on the wallet. So the next step, you can go ahead and just double click on the desktop icon, and it's going to go ahead and launch the Burst Windows client for you. Now, um, if you're new to Burst and you've never created a wallet before, uh, the Wallet Manager makes everything really easy. Um, and what this does is it saves um, all of your wallets as encrypted files on your drive and makes it easy to load and use. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go to add wallet. You can type in whatever you'd like. Um, I'm just going to call this wallet wallet. And as the passphrase, we recommend at least 30 characters, uh, capital letters, lowercase letters, symbols, and numbers. Everything on Burst is based on a passphrase. So I'm going to go ahead and just type some random letters here, and I'm typing with one hand, so bear with me. And I'm going to click Save. And it says Wallet Saved, Encrypted, and Local. And so now you can go back to the Wallet Manager, click Load Wallet, and you can see all the wallets I have here saved. And the one I just made here is called Wallet. And if you double click on it, it'll say passphrase of wallet is now on your clipboard. Um, and whether you're a returning user or not, you're going to click returning user and paste. And this will create you a Burst wallet. It'll say welcome to your new Burst account. It'll give you your ID and it'll give you your public key. I usually document this stuff. Not entirely necessary, but um, I usually do just for my own records. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is if you're a new user, you're going to want to go to BurstCoin.info, go to the faucet, and get some Burst Coins. Um, you'll get a couple into your wallet, and then once you have those, you can either set a name, a nickname to your account, anything that costs a fee of one Burst or more, or you can send one Burst to any of your friends, whatever you want to do. Um, anything that has an outgoing transaction is going to secure your Burst ID for you forever. Um, but since this video is um, an instructional video. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main page by right click refresh. And I'm going to load the test wallet. Uh, but, anyways, so um, the online wallet is an SSL wallet. It is uh, attached to the main first um, official SSL wallet. I'm going to go ahead and paste the password for the test wallet. This is just a short password, this wallet is going to be given to everyone, so it doesn't really matter. So um, 
I'm going to go in and log in, and you'll see here that it says warning your passphrase is less than 35 characters, and this is not secure. This is going to tell you if you put in some simple passphrase, it's going to be uh, not that great. It's going to be something you're probably not going to want to do because it could possibly be cracked. But in this case, we don't care because all we're using this for is showing how to use uh, this particular tool. So um, the next step you can do here, at the bottom, you'll see these two buttons, uh, write plots and start mining. The way Burst works is it's the only coin that is mined using your hard drive. And the way that works is you write plot files to your hard drive and then you read these plot files to actually mine your account. So in order to plot the drive, you're gonna click write plots down here. You're gonna choose whichever drive you want and you're gonna say plot this drive. And once this comes up, you're gonna need your Burst account. That's why I copied the Burst account ID already. And you're gonna paste your Burst account ID here. You're gonna choose how much you wanna plot and I'm just gonna do a really small amount because this is for the video only. And then you're gonna click start plotting. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna launch the wplotgenerator.exe and start plotting your hard drive based on how much space you chose. Um, for me, I chose only three gigabytes because I wanted this to be something that was fairly simple for everyone to follow along. So um, you'll see where it starts plotting is in your C drive in the folder called burst and in this folder you'll see a plots folder and this is the plot file that we're currently writing this takes a little while but this is the only thing that uses any significant power as far as burst is concerned this is the only time you're going to really ever see a lot of cpu usage for an extended period of time when you're using burst um, all you're going to need to do is use your CPU for a little while in the beginning when you make your plot files. And then after that, when you're actually mining Burst, um, you're pretty much idle uh, the whole time. Um, you're going to be using your CPU for a little while every block, maybe about a minute every block. And then after that, your computer sits idle and waits for the next block. So uh, Burst is extremely green. We're just gonna sit here and wait. You can see now that it is about 50% done with this three gigabytes. And yes, it does take a little while depending on you know how much CPU power your computer has and how much space you would like to plot. And now one thing that I should mention is if you're gonna be using this GUI solely um, you're going to need a new mining wallet for each computer that you're planning on mining with. Okay, now you can see here that it says finished plotting. You can go ahead and close this window out. And now we're going to come down here to the start mining. And the first thing you're going to need to do is once you've let this run for a while and you let your wallet download the blockchain. You're going to need to download the entire blockchain first. Then you can come in here and you're going to need to set your reward recipient. Um, and what this does is assign your account to the pool of your choosing. I'm going to be mining on burst.ninja. So I'm going to change my reward recipient here and it's going to copy the pool's address for me. I'm going to push paste and then I'm going to put my passphrase for my wallet here and then i'm going to click submit and i've already done this on this wallet so i don't necessarily need to do it again and you can see here that this is the pool address for burst ninja this wallet has already done the reward recipient so what i'm going to do now is go back to start mining and you can see the found plots and all you're going to do now is click start mining it's very simple. You can see here that, it's, well, since I only have three gigabytes plotted, I'm not really gonna find that many deadlines, but it is working. It connects you to the pool. There's the pool IP address. It said it read through 100% and it didn't find any deadlines to submit. But when you do have more space plotted, you'll see deadlines getting submitted to the pool. 
and then you can go to the pools web address and here you can see your submitted shares and everyone else's you can monitor your stats here and that's about it that's about all i needed to show you um and that concludes my video so thank you very much for watching and thank you for using burst